Hello traders and welcome back to the Forex Boat educational series. In this video, we will be talking about how to trade pullbacks. I'll share with you some very important points like my view on how to distinguish the pullback from a trend, what tools and indicators works best to spot the end of the correction. And I'll show you my personal and unique approach to trading pullbacks. You will see something that you haven't seen before. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification not to miss any of the future videos that we do every single day educational videos, live trade examples, as well as daily market analysis. Let's get started with pullbacks. So what is the pullback? Well, we all know that there are trends and the corrections. So the trend goes up, down, up, down, up. Or if it goes down, it goes down, correction, down, correction, down. So what we have is this corrective move to the downside. If it's an uptrend, this is the pullback. And if it's a downtrend, of course, these are the pullbacks. So these waves down, pullback, pullback, and so on. So we understand that pullbacks is the move against the major trend. But the most important point, how to spot that this is in fact a pullback. Why do you think the trend will not simply go down more well in in practice it's a very difficult to distinguish whether this is actually the downtrend or just a pullback it's not easy there are many theories for example elliott wave theory suggests that you can count the waves and this is how you can find the pullback but this is not as easy as it seems to because elliott wave is very complicated and you need so much time to master it and even when you know everything about Elliott wave theory, you still will be making mistakes. So I will try to share with you a simple way to find the pullbacks unlike you haven't seen before. What I personally like is finding these spots. So I do like to see, for example, you see the trend, then we need to break below this low, the previously made established low, so this is what I'm looking for, this breakout. And then I will look at this opportunity when the price corrects to the upside, because I do like to trade when I see the confirmation of the trend. And what could be this confirmation? Of course, this is this breakout that we have right there. And we need to break not the low, the previous low, but the low of the previous trend. You see the difference? because this would be the low. It's not at this spot, but right there. And then we distinguish that the trend has changed. This is an early warning that the trend is changing. So while the market is right there, I would be starting to look for a pullback. And then when it occurs, we can go down. And even on the Elliott wave theory based on it, we could be trading either the third or the fifth wave to the downside, because what we have is wave one, then two, three, four, and then five. Ideally, we need to trade the first pullback. So what actually I would suggest is not to trade if you have one wave, then second, so the, the, the wave five. I would suggest to find the points where you have wave three. Let me show you. So let's imagine once again, the trend goes up, and then what we have is the previously established low, then price breaks down with one wave, not two, just one. So you know this low has been broken, now you're looking for a pullback. And this is the ideal scenario where you should enter the trade. Because we are looking to either have an ABC correction or it could be a five wave move to the downside. In either case, even if it's a pullback of the major trend, you're still looking at this small pullback of your minor downtrend. Now, how to find these breakouts and how to confirm that there was in fact a breakout? Let's go to the dollar Canadian chart and see. So here we have an example on a daily chart on the dollar Canadian. And what we can clearly see is that the previously made low has been established right there. What we had is a single wave down, it's a big move 
down on the daily chart seems like just one wave and we got broken below the previously made low so this is exactly the thing i'm looking for and if that is an abc correction we would still have an a b and c okay and we will capitalize on that because if this is wave one two three four five we could capitalize on this move as well, but we don't know whether it's going to be A, B, C or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, unless you are the Elliott Wave Theory specialist. And I don't think many of us are. So this makes it a very simple way to trade. We only trade the wave 3, which is starting from here. This is one of the best waves to actually spot it. What we need to do now as well is to look at the moving averages. This is one and the most probably popular way to spot the correction and the pullback where and how far it might go and where is the best entry. So let's apply FIPS to this correction. So I'm going to be using this high and this low because this was the original high which hasn't been broken. And what we have is the 38.2 FIPS has been rejected. So we have one of the confirmations. What else we could use? Obviously the moving average. I am using here 50 and 200 simple moving averages and 50 simple moving average was broken. So yet another confirmation and now it's being rejected. So this could be a good opportunity to go short, whether for long term or short term. Now the next way is to look at the supply demand areas previous level of resistance easily spotted we don't have to look for it it has to be easily spotted and it it was resistance it was the resistance again and now we can also see that what this could be yes you are completely correct this could be a head and shoulders reversal pattern because it looks just awesome so this could be also something like that and you would be trading the break below the shoulder. You would have the opportunity a little bit later, but with more confirmations. So yet again, could be a something to use in your analysis. So we have supply demand zone, we have the Fibonacci, we have the moving average. We can also use the simple trend line, why not? And guys, we have a separate video on how to draw the trend lines. You can check it in our channel. So here we also had a break up below the trend line. We can apply a different trend line through this low here or here. Well, they all just got broken. So multiple confirmations. and you can even see that it's acting as the resistance and finally you can use to spot the pullback simple channel we are connecting two highs and low in between them yet again we see that price broke below the channel and usually it correcting up towards the breakout point of the channel and we see yet another confirmation of this pullback multiple confirmations all being rejected and now where would you enter the trade well i would go for the lower time frame and simply draw the trend line and trade on the breakout so this could have been my opportunity selling opportunity i'm looking for daily close below the trend line set my risk reward ratio to two as you can see here and we could get this perfect trade setup but let me show you yet another way how you can spot these pullbacks my personal approach here we yet again see lower lows and lower highs are being printed i am looking for the daily break and close below the previously made low then what i would look for is when the price starting to produce higher highs and higher lows because here it wasn't the case price continued to move down now we have high highs high lows and this is where I'm gonna step in. And then I would go to the forward time frame and then draw the downtrend trend line to the last wave to the downside. So very simple trend line. The next thing I would need to apply FIPS to the corrective wave after we had a break above the trend line. You can see clearly price did break to the upside and now I'm going to be using FIPS to apply to this correction. So let's do that. We can use either this high and this low or we can use this high. Well, I always use the first high which hasn't been broken 
as in the case of the first example where we used fibs as well. So this is the high I would use normally and I would apply through the second low. Here you cannot use the first low because there was no gap between these two candles. It goes one after another one. But if we have high then gap of one or two or more candles then you can use it. Without gap like for example there are two candles go together you cannot choose which higher low you can take. So once we have that we can scroll and look where we see the rejection of any of the fibs. By the way guys these fibs you can basically on the trading view adjust as you like and then save it as a template. You can put levels you want, you can see which levels I did put because I just like these Fibonacci retracement levels and once you have the template you can simply add it. Now I'm looking for rejection of clean rejection. This is very important. You need to see the clean bounce of one of the FIBs. And we had it right there. There are multiple clean rejections as you can see. And this is exactly what you want in this pullback. We can summarize that on the daily time frame, we had this break below the previously made low. Very important that it's a daily time frame, not hourly or four hour candle. So once we have the low and price starting to produce higher highs and higher lows, also very important because this is actually A, B, C correction. And this is exactly, for example, you could make a mistake here and treat this as a pullback. But now we would not make this mistake because we had the confirmation on the daily break. So this is a clearly downtrend. A, B, C, you can also calculate. Maybe you like Elliott waves. And once we have this rejection, we can yet again use the trend line and see yet again the daily time frame. On the daily break and close below the trend line, this could have been a selling opportunity. Of course, the stop loss must be above and take profit. Well, it's up to you how far you can take it. But generally speaking, the reward to risk ratio should be two to one which is roughly at this price and we would test our target quite fast without hitting the stop loss price didn't break above this high so this is a very simple way how you can trade it and besides guys if i apply my trend line through this low the breakout would occur much higher and we would have a risk to reward ratio well the same and we would hit this target straight away. This is the way you draw actually the trend lines and yet again guys we did a video on the trend lines which you can watch in our channel. So very simple way to find pullbacks. I think it's unique because this is my personal and I haven't seen anything similar being discussed online. So this is it guys. I really really hope that you enjoyed it. You will appreciate it. And if you do just click the like button of course because as many likes we get the more videos I will be able to share with you knowing that you support our channel. And before you go don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to follow the next video that will be coming up very very soon. Thank you all for watching and perhaps we'll see you in just a few days. Take care and profits to you.